about two weeks ago, I have received my Note 8, and I'm upgrading from the Note 5, which is becoming a somehow old device. So I have pre-ordered the black version, because I think it's more homogeneous with the black double camera module. I was hesitating to get the blue one, but it depends on your preference. So anyway, I'll leave Amazon links for the unlocked version of the Note 8 in the description below. Let's quickly check what you get in the official box. First, you're greeted by the Note 8, but more on this Jotter's design later. You get the AKG earbuds, some pen tips, a USB A to C adapter, mini USB to USB C adapter, some ear tips, the wall fast charger, which is included in the box for free, <coughs> and the USB cable. All accessories are black, which I think is better than the old white ones. Let's move to the most important part. The Note 8 itself. You've probably watched tons of videos about the design, but let me tell you that this is hands down the best looking smartphone I've ever seen. You may prefer the S8 with rounder corners, but I personally like this square shape. The boxy design makes it easier to hold in one hand despite the huge 6.3 inch display. And the display? This is just the best. It is the brightest on any smartphone, going to 1200 nits. I've used it in the sunlight and I had no issues seeing details. So on the front upper bezel you get the 8 megapixel selfie camera with autofocus, the iris scanner, a LED indicator for notifications and the proximity sensor. The rest of the front side is all display with the curved edges that gives an immersive experience when gaming or watching videos. Also, these edges come handy for displaying edge notification lights along with the edge screen in which you can put apps, contacts, weather and other useful stuff in order to access them easily. On the top there is the SIM card tray slash SD card reader to add up to 256 gigs of storage. On the bottom bezel there is no more home and back buttons. These are replaced by the software navigation bar that you can customize from the settings. On the bottom part there is the headphone jack, the USB-C connector, the speaker and the reason for calling this note the S Pen. But more on it later. On the back side you got a glass design with Gorilla Glass 5 with the big upgrade the dual camera with 2x optical zoom and the live focus feature to give you portrait modes with digital depth of field. Both cameras come with 12 megapixel sensors with optical image stabilization on both of them, which is the first on any dual camera smartphone. The main one can shoot wide or normal shots with 1.7 aperture, while the second is a telephoto used for 2x optical zoom and to make live focus works with 2.4 aperture. I'm currently testing the camera and I can safely say that this is one of the best on any smartphone, if not the best. In these pictures that I took, colors look vibrant on daylight, while low light photos look clear and not noisy, unless you're really shooting in the dark. The live focus feature is pretty useful and precise in detecting your object sites and separate it from the background. And Samsung gives you the ability to adjust the background blur even after the photo is taken. So if you want to see a full camera review, make sure to hit that like button. Next to the camera there is a LED flashlight, the heart rate sensor and the fingerprint scanner. Well, I have heard a lot about this awkward placement and finally I'm trying it. And I have to say that you really need some time to get used to it. On the other hand, iris scanning is pretty fast and face recognition is also smooth and even faster. But it is not really the best when it comes to security. But I have noticed that Samsung has added an option to make face recognition more hard to fool with a simple picture by activating this in the settings. But unfortunately this will make it slower. The sides are metallic black to match the phone color. And that's where you get the power button on the right and the volume and Bixby button on the left. I'm currently testing and using this assistant and if you want to see a full video about Bixby, make sure to tell me in the comment section below. On the daily use side, this is a pretty fast performing device thanks to the new processor and the 6 gigs of RAM. Opening apps, navigating the web and multitasking is all fast and smooth. And talking about multitasking, the new app pair feature makes it even easier by letting you link your two of the most used apps and launch them on the same time with one touch from the edge screen. Watching videos on this huge bright display is easily the most immersive on any smartphone. 
The new aspect ratio can come in the way since most of the videos does not fit the new size, so you're now seeing annoying black bars on the sides. But Samsung has added this crop feature to make them fit all the display. So after using the Note 8 for 2 weeks now, here is what I think about the 33mAh battery. I think it is just fair. With features packed productivity phone like this, you expect to get a longer lasting battery. But unfortunately, no. I'm not saying it is bad, because I get between 3 hours and a half to 4 hours and a half of screen on time on a single charge. But I think Samsung can easily improve this time if they manage to fit a bigger battery, of course without compromising safety. But anyway, the fast charging and the wireless fast charging, which again come for free, makes up for the regular battery life. And finally, let's not forget about the S Pen, the reason for calling this a note. This letter also comes in black to match the whole symphony, and for features, you get to do pretty useful stuff and also some gimmicky ones, and that's depending on your needs. From translating, to sending live messages, to taking screen of memos, to drawing on your screenshots, and also drawing and coloring some art. You may need it or not, but for me, the S Pen is something I often use, especially in meetings at my work, I can just pull it and write down stuff. I can tell you that writing with this is a joy, especially with the 4000 pressure sensitive pen tip that gives a natural feel of writing. And if you like a full video on the S Pen features, feel free to tell me that on the comment section. So the Note 8 is water and dust proof, so you can submerge it for 30 minutes underwater, which means you can take some pictures when you're swimming. And if you already have a Note 8 and want to make sure to protect the glass body without compromising design, this official Samsung case is hands down the best to keep it simple. I link it in the description below. So bottom line, the Note 8 is easily the best smartphone for this year, from design to performance to camera to the load of features you get. But if you don't need the S Pen and the dual camera, you can go save some couple hundred bucks and get the S8 or the S8 Plus which have almost everything the Note have. So if you guys want me to make a specific video on the Note 8, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more to come. Thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next one.